off nice. It's amazing as much as we washed that bird and as, as good as we fleshed it. When we pull this bird out of here, you'll be able to see oil and fat deposits floating in the, in the little bit of fuel that comes out of this thing. And the other really nice thing that this stuff does is it displaces the water that's in those feathers and allows it to dry much faster because this camp fuel evaporates a lot faster than water. Um, but the only thing I recommend if you're using this stuff and you're having it in your shop, keep it somewhere where it's not flammable, you know, or it's flame resistant. You're not going to be working with fire or sparks. Keep it in a metal locked cabinet or something so you're not putting yourself or anyone else in danger and put it away when you're done with it and then dispose of the liquid properly and make sure you don't light any matches by your bird in your bag you're gonna have a I don't know what you're gonna have but it's not gonna be good you can let your bird sit all the way overnight in this stuff which is what I'll do a lot of times for your greasier birds like like your ducks and, and geese um, but it's, it's clean as we got this bird already I think I'm just gonna go take lunch here and then I'll come back in probably 20-30 minutes and pull that bird out of there and then we'll proceed with mounting you probably can't tell in the video but this gas is, is clear like water and you can already see it's only been in there for five minutes and it's starting to turn whitish and that's just that excess little bit of fat is pulling out of this thing so we'll just let it sit in the sink I like to let it sit in the sink in case it would leak it all out at least it's going down the drain instead of on the floor or on the table where it could be causing somebody harm